All right, what's popping? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys basically how to trade with yourself while you're playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl on the PC with the Yuzu or Ryu Jinx emulator. Now, basically, there's a couple ways you can do this. Now, the first and basically the most popular way you can basically trade with yourself is through a mod. And that mod is basically is on GameBanana.com, which I'll leave in the description down below. This is basically a trade evolution mod. So Pokemon, like you need to trade with Metal Coat to evolve Scyther into Scizor is not recommended anymore. You basically just give um, your Scyther the Metal Coat and level it up with the Metal Coat and it basically evolves into Scizor. So basically get this mod is how you get it there's one that has items required and one that has no item required so i believe if you get the no items required that means you don't need something like medical you just level up your cyber like say for example to level 40 and it basically evolves but if you want to have a little bit fun with it and feel a little bit more authentic i guess you can get the items required so i'm just get one mod right here to showcase you guys basically how to install it now you know, it's gonna come as um, a zip file, so you're gonna need something like 7-zip or 1-mar. How you set up this mod is pretty simple. Let's open it up. Put down the ROM FS. Basically, gonna make a new folder because if you just put it in the ROM FS, I think YouTube doesn't read it. So, call it item trade. And then we put the ROM FS inside item trade. We left click, go to mod data location, and then you drag and drop it right here. Close that out. Look, properties. There you go. Item trade. Press OK on that. And then you basically cut. Next, what you can do is open up PK Hex. Now, for you to basically work, make this work with PKX, you need to know where your save file is located. And then you drag and drop it onto PKX. I'll close that out real quick. Now, what, what you do here is obviously you can get like something like a Gengar without leveling up your Haunter. Or trading your Haunter, I mean, and it can be any level, make it level 100. You can also make it shiny if you want. Edit the stats a little bit. Randomize the stats. Give it some moves. And then basically put it into your party box. Or you can put it inside your party if you prefer. I really don't need this Pokemon to showcase you guys how it works. And after that, you just basically Export the save, save it, that's okay, and you're basically all set. Now those are the two most popular ways you can trade yourself while you're playing Pokemon games on the emulators. Now I know Rival Jinx has a local multiplayer feature which is called LDN, but as I'm recording this video I believe it's not compatible with BD BDSP. So now it's, it's compatible with BDSP, I will make a video on it. Due to the fact that with the local multiplayer feature with what Ryu Jinx have with LDN, you basically can trade your emulator with your real switch. So it's basically trading with yourself in a whole new another level. So which is pretty crazy in my opinion. But I don't think the latest LDN feature, which is the online multiplayer feature, has been updated on the Ryu Jinx. But soon as it's soon as I hear an update or see an update. I'll make a video as soon as possible showcasing you guys how to set that up and how it works. It's pretty cool if you guys haven't tried it before. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Brayton. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.